Uh, hey everybody, it's Bruce here with Traveling with Bruce. Got some breaking news here for July 20th. Uh, just came out. Cruise and Marine Voyages, CMV, has gone into uh, basically receivership. They're basically done for, unfortunately. Thank you for subscribing to my channel, uh, giving my videos thumbs up, following me on Facebook and on Instagram. Um, the story, I guess, uh, has been brewing now since about the 19th of June. I did a video back then talking about how the company had uh, been in uh, negotiations with Barclays to try to arrange a, um, a loan that would get them through this uh, pandemic. And it fell through at the last minute. It was something around uh, $25 uh, million to $30 million. And they were trying to uh, secure financing to keep everything going. They had a bunch of staff on board their ships, crew members that they've been trying to get home. And uh, they had a couple of issues with the UK uh, port authorities. Uh, they boarded the ships and inspected uh, the, uh, the uh, vessels, checked out the crew, and they basically put a hold on the ships, wouldn't let them go anywhere until uh, crew issues were resolved. Um, fortunately, it looks like the company was just not able to uh, do a refinancing, and uh, they've had to declare what we call in North America bankruptcy. In the United Kingdom, they call it administration. Uh, Canada will call it receivership. Uh, there were five ships uh, in the fleet, from what I understand. The Astoria, built in 1948. The, the Columbus, built in 1987. The Magellan, built in 1985. Um, the Marco Polo, built in 1965. And the Vasco da Gama, built in 1993. Um, this line was basically an adult only line and it was operating kind of like a, like a Pullman tour. Uh, you could get some really good deals on this cruise line because the ships are older. Uh, the amount of, uh, cash they had to make in payments was probably next to nothing. I don't even know if they could uh, really received any kind of bank loans against these vessels, but, uh, they just had to keep them maintained and keep them running. Um. The uh, crew numbers, apparently 1,449 crew were still on the ships docked in the UK near London. Many of the crew members are from India and Indonesia. Uh, they've wanted to go home for months. Uh, the cruise line had been trying to get them home for a while, but uh, without commercial flights uh, in the air between the UK and India and elsewhere, they just couldn't do it. And so uh, uh, I guess the cruise line just didn't have enough cash to effectively uh, get the crew or maybe on one or two of their ships and sail them back, uh, which is what, of course, uh, Carnival and Royal Caribbean and uh, Norwegian are doing with all their brands. <clears throat> they're, they're literally sailing their crew members home when they can't get them flown home through charter aircraft or whatever have you. So the CMV people have uh, unfortunately been really up against it for the last uh, while. Um, this all came to light in the last two and a half, three weeks. But apparently this news has been known in the industry for a while. I had heard that uh, there was a rumor last week when uh, when uh, Holland America offloaded four of their ships that two of them were going to be sold to CMV. Um, and uh, it, it sounded to me that if that deal were to have happened, it would have happened where Carnival would have literally just... Uh, uh, issued a loan to the CMV people and they, they would just make payments on the ship as they operated them with in effect, you know, nothing down. But uh, obviously that deal is dead if that deal happened at all. So I don't know what the status is of the two Holland America ships that, uh, that had been uh, uh, sold. We know two of them went to, uh, went to uh, Fred Olson Cruise Lines, but the other two we, we suspected might have been going to this cruise line here. Now it sounds like, well, of course, that deal is dead if it happened at all. We'll wait to see what uh, what uh, comes out of this officially from the Holland America people regarding their other two ships. There you go, folks. Another day in uh, cruise ship paradise. Uh, we're hearing uh, more and more news of ships being sold, cruise lines going under, um, and uh, it, it's not looking good. And unfortunately, the, uh, the pandemic is such that uh, cruising is going to be suspended a lot longer than people had hoped or feared. And uh, as we saw the other day, the CDC has extended its shutdown in the U.S. now officially until the end of September. But um, word has it from, uh, from Wall Street sources and others that uh, 
insiders of the major cruise lines don't think they'll be cruising until well into 2021. So we'll keep an eye on that. But this cruise line CMV is no more. Thanks again for following my channel, subscribing to Traveling with Bruce, giving me thumbs ups. I appreciate it. Love your comments too. In the meantime, uh, join me tonight at 8 o'clock on my live show every Monday night. We'll talk about the latest developments. Thanks, everybody, and bye for now.